Super Bait is back and better than ever. Introducing <laughs> Super Bait Bobbers. We took what was great about the original Super Bait and made it better, featuring more cards, newer fish, new game mechanics, and more fun, but still neatly packaged in a conveniently portable and durable mint tin box. Super Bait Bobbers is a fantastic memory card game that incorporates dice rolls and the joy of fishing. Super Bait is real good fun for the whole family for two to six fishermen. The quick gameplay and replayability will keep you hooked. The object of the game. Cast a line in your favorite fishing hole and catch fish to earn points. Bigger fish are worth more points, but only certain baits can catch certain fish. Roll the dice to determine what fish you're looking for. Turn over the card and see if it's catch. Try not to reel in any junk items and watch out for any holes in your net. Be careful as the water can get rough and there may be a shark lurking in the deep. Keep an eye out for the elusive goldfish and trophy fish, a fish so picky it can only be caught with super bait. Contents include 32 super bait cards, two dice with custom face stickers, three fishing guide reference cards, instructions, and six bobber tokens of various colors. Before we begin, let's take a look at the 32 super bait cards. There are three different types of cards. The first are the fish cards that you will be fishing for to earn points. These are the small fry. The Guppy, the Keeper, and the Whopper! You will also see these fish pictured on the faces of the blue dye, but there will be more on that later. In addition to those are two special fish cards, of which there are only one of in the entire game. The Trophy Fish, worth 5 points, and the Gold Fish, worth anywhere between 0 and 5 points. The second type of card are Junk Cards. You will want to avoid catching these, as they will deduct points. These cards inc include the Bony Fish, the Tin Can, the Old Boot, and the spare tire. The last type of card are special action cards. These include the bandit shark, junk eater, and rough water. So let's start playing. First, shuffle the super bait cards and lay them all spread out face down on the plain surface to make your fishing hole. Make sure each fisherman has one barber token and then choose someone to go first. Next, you'll bait your hook. Roll both dice to determine what you are fishing for or to do any actions. The red die determines what action you will do that round, and the blue die determines the specific fish you can go fishing for. The blue die is dependent on the red one, so we'll look at the red dice first. There are three possible outcomes. This little guy is super bait. By rolling him, you will be able to catch any fish, including the elusive trophy fish. You will have two options after rolling super bait. First, either go fishing for any fish in the fishing hole, or you can use this opportunity to put one junk card back into the fishing hole. If you put one junk card back, scramble all the face down cards in the fishing hole. This is the holy net. If it comes up, it looks like there's a hole in your net and the big one got away. You will have to return one fish card of your highest value back to the fishing hole. You have a one in six chance of having your biggest catch get away. The last outcome is the fishing pole. That means you're going fishing. This is where the blue die will come into play. After rolling a fishing pole on the red die, try to catch the fish rolled on the blue die. Turn over the card in the fishing hole. If the card is a fish you can catch, reel it in and keep it. If not, turn it back face down in the same spot. After rolling super bait on the red die, you get to go fishing for any fish in the fishing hole. Even if you know that all the specific fish have been caught, you still have to turn over a card in the fishing hole. Fishermen take turns baiting their hooks and fishing until everything is caught. So what are those bobber tokens for? Well, I'm glad you asked. Each fisherman has one bobber token. After your turn is over, you can place your bobber token on any card in the fishing hole, presumably a fish card. All other fishermen are prohibited from selecting a card with another fisherman's bobber on it when they go fishing. You have three turns to officially catch the fish your bobber's on by either rolling super bait or a fishing pole with the correct fish in the blue dye. If you catch the fish, the bobber is removed from play. If after three turns you have been unsuccessful, the bobber is removed from play and the fish card is free for others to catch. Barbers may only be played once unless they are returned to the fisherman by the effect of rough water. Now who likes to fish in a fishing hole with a bunch of garbage in it? No one. That is why it's up to you to help keep your fishing hole nice and clean. When you go fishing, you may reel in some junk cards. If you turn over a junk card from fishing, you must reel it in and add it to your pile. These cards deduct points, but don't worry, you may have the chance to get rid of them. One junk card can be thrown back face down into the fishing hole instead of going fishing if you roll super bait. If a junk card is thrown back, 
All the cards in the fishing hole are scrambled, but any bobbers currently in play are left on their cards. Or you can locate a junk eater fish, and it'll help you out with your excess trash. The junk eater, along with the bandit shark and rough water, make up the special action cards. If you turn over the junk fish, remove all your currently cut junk cards as well as the junk fish card from play. The junk eater is a happy and well behaved little guy. However, the bandit shark is out to get your fish. If you turn over the bandit shark, remove all your currently caught fish of your lowest value, that's up to four cards, as well as that bandit shark from play. While out in the fishing hole, the water can get a little rough at times and everything can get mixed around. After revealing a rough water card, scramble all the cards in the fishing hole and return any active bobbers back to their fishermen. There's one more thing you should know before you're ready to play. It's the goldfish. Unlike the trophy fish, which can only be caught if super baits rolled, the goldfish is not that picky and anything can catch the goldfish. So if you turn over the goldfish, you can reel it in no matter what was rolled on the blue die. The goldfish's point value always matches your other fish with the highest value. If the goldfish is your only fish, its value is zero. For example, if your fish card pile contains a guppy and a goldfish, the goldfish would be worth two points. If you catch a whopper on your next turn fishing, the goldfish would then become four points. Since the goldfish is always your highest value card, it's always the first one put back if you roll a holy net on the red die. A bandit shark only removes the goldfish if it's the only fish card in your pile. The game ends when there are no more cards in the fishing hole. Add up all your fish card point values and subtract any junk card values to determine your score. The highest score wins! And that's Superbait Bobbers. Get yourself a tin, cast out a line, and you're going to have a real good time.